the aims, methods, and some of the results of our first in human bispecific CAR T cell for relapse refractory B cell non Hodgkin lymphoma. Um, as many people are familiar with, there are two products approved for B cell non Hodgkin lymphoma in, world, in the terms of CAR T. Both of these CAR T cell products target CD19. The problem with only targeting CD19 is that the majority of patients who receive these CAR T-cell products will relapse after getting the CAR T-cells or fail to respond. One thought behind why they may relapse or fail to respond is that the tumor cells can get rid of CD19 and downregulate it. So our group worked with some scientists to, to develop a clinical trial using a first-in-human bispecific CAR T-cell product. This CAR T-cell can target not only CD19, but it can also target CD20, which is another target on B cells. And so we uh, shared our results at the ASCO meeting today um, as part of our phase one trial, and we did a dose escalation study. So we studied this drug and this CAR T-cell product at multiple dose levels, and we found that 2.5 by 10 to the 6 cells per kilogram is a safe dose for further investigation in larger studies. Um, at that dose level, and among all the patients that were treated, we were excited to report that there were no serious toxicities. Um, we only had two patients who had grade three neurotoxicity, otherwise there was no grade three to four cytokine release syndrome. These are the major toxicities we're worried about with CAR T cells. In terms of response, the overall response rate was 82%, with 14 of the 17 patients having either a complete response or partial response at day 28. But what was even more exciting for us was that at the highest dose level, the goal dose level of 2.5 by 10 to the 6 cells per kilogram, 9 out of 11 patients achieved a complete remission at day 28. And to date, and the longest patient is over a year and a half out, no patient who's achieved a complete response has relapsed.